Penang is now building the Mutiara LRT line. The project is separated into three parts. Part one is the construction work from Silicon Island to Komta. Part two is the track construction from Komta to Penang Central. And the third part is the development and installation of the rail vehicle or rolling stock and other related components. There are many systems of public transport. There are bus, tram, magnetic train, suspended monorail and others. Penang chooses a light rail system that moves on elevated track as the backbone of the state's public transport network. The backbone of a public transport network needs to be able to move fast and carry many passengers as it is connected by Fido buses from all places. Why Penang chooses the elevated LRT system? That is because a system running on elevated track that is separated from road can move more people in shorter time. Systems that share road space with cars and motorbikes get stuck in congestion, have to stop at traffic junction, disrupted by accident and prone to accident. Yeah. Those systems may be cheaper than LRT on elevated track, but what is the point of a public transport system that is cheap but stuck in congestion, stopped at junction, disrupted by accident and prone to accident? Cities with high usage of public transport install a backbone network that is separated from road. It is either on elevated track or underground subway. Hong Kong has the highest public transport usage in the world. Over 90% of the population use public transport. The backbone network of Hong Kong's public transport is their MTR, which doesn't share road space with cars and motorbikes. The same with Singapore, where about 60% of the population use public transport. Their public transport backbone is the MRT, which moves on elevated and underground track. Penang learns from successful models. No point building a cheap system that doesn't work. Penang needs effective public transport, not cheap system.